So I think it's probably my grandchildren motivate me to be here. And the prospect of this railway concerns me um, not just for the reef and the damage that an extended Abbott Point port would be, uh, but the you know the 600 kilometres of coal dust and those huge mines in the Galilee, um, the water that's so precious and they will use so much of that. The Galilee Basin, as we all know, is one of the biggest sort of coal deposits in the country, and one of the biggest in the world, and digging it up is just, we can't do it. We're already seeing um, the effects of climate change, and digging up and burning that coal is just going to be absolutely disastrous. So its assets are going to be stranded anyway, it's like, it's pointless. We just can't keep doing this to reef. UN has expressed concern, it's the federal and state government are not listening, so yeah, it's up to shareholders and um, concerned citizens to stand up and say no to this sort of stuff. So there's all sorts of people starting to divest away from um, coal. Um, I've disclosed my um, account with Commonwealth Bank, for example, because they continue to invest in coal. So all these sort of things, there's millions and millions being divested at the moment and that'll just continue to grow. Trick or treat and I say to you, oh, it's been It's been a hell of a summer to be lying so low. Today was quite an interesting day in Australian activist history because the first time in you know, Australian AGM history, I suppose, we had a group of radical activists you know, came to an AGM and asked a different type of question. So rather than asking questions around you know, particular environmental issues, which we did a little bit of, we mainly went in there to ask about economic issues and particularly economic risk. So a rise in our you know, wanting to invest in the Galilee Basin, one of the biggest catastrophes you know, in the world climate change wise, as well as you know, issues with regards to the reef, etc. So yeah, there's a number of environment groups are really concerned about that and willing to engage in direct action, divestment, all those sort of issues. So we came and actually asked about those risks. We talked about specific direct actions and what you know, they may or may not do about it. We asked about their insurance costs, their security costs. You know, all that sort of stuff which hasn't really been asked before. They were pretty audacious questions and we've talked to shareholders afterwards, quite a few are supportive so it's you know, good to see and the thing is they deserve to know. They deserve to know that the wider environment movement are willing to target Horizon and target them strongly and that is going to cost the company a lot of money, it increases their risk with regards to what is already a very risky proposition with regards to investing in the Galilee Basin. It's been a hell of a summer to be lying so low. Sir, in the heat of the summer to be kept lying way down so low. What you have, sir.